new study out of MIT has found that AI can already replace around 12% of the U.S. workforce. That number, 11.7%, may sound kind of scary, and it both is and isn't, and I'll explain. The study, which by the way you can find, it is open access, demonstrates what AI can do that people are kind of already doing. And AI is also kind of already doing, as massive companies like Amazon and UPS and Target are replacing workers with AI. Companies like Amazon and Walmart are also replacing people with actual robots. That is a massive number, and it is only going to get worse, and it's also going to result in a, a huge amount of financial trouble when the bubble bursts, but that doesn't mean AI will go away. I mean, we did have the dot-com bubble, and you're on the internet right now. Everyone is. But it didn't deliver what it promised, and neither will AI. Robots and LLMs converge because robots are often operated by LLMs, but they do very different tasks. Both that previously required people, like pattern recognition, simple filing, sending emails, making calls, customer service. That can be done by AI, and I'm not particularly happy about it. This means that AI can take over both some of the creative thinking tasks that people are usually required to do, as well as the physical tasks. Meaning, AI really can take a lot of our labor. And we have talked about how unsustainable the AI industry is, how data centers require more funds to be put into them than they actually produce. If AI really does take over 12% of our jobs, that would solve the problems of the maintenance that these data centers require. Sort of. Remember, OpenAI has a data center that will use as much power as the entirety of India. That is simply not going to happen. There is not enough infrastructure for that kind of project. But let's say they pull it off. Let's say we make the infrastructure, and AI really does replace all of these jobs. What happens? There is massive economic upheaval, even in the slim chance that this actually all works. That does have a silver lining in it, though. If it were all successful, then after that upheaval, we would see jobs again. We would see new specialized careers. That means that coding would become more valuable. And right now there's a big upheaval that coding is not a great job because AI can do it for you. But trust me, there does need to be people who maintains these systems. Especially because AI is not stable, it's prone to hallucinations, and when it's threatened, it does some pretty wacky things. Imagine we really do have millions of robots doing human tasks. Somebody is going to need to maintain them and repair them and keep them from going off the rails. We may see a whole new area of law. I mean, normally, if a product might be dangerous, that's kind of a tort law thing, right? But somebody is going to need to have expertise in robotics and engineering and computation. It's, it's going to be interesting. Now, there is a secret additional option, and that's that the use of AI and robotics doesn't destroy our workforce or our economy and actually is used to support it. Unfortunately, what I have observed from humanity is that we don't tend to make the most rational choices, but it does tend to work out in the end, somehow. The invention of things like the cotton gin. Yes, they change the way that we do labor, but not for the worse in the end. A lot of our automation does make workers' lives safer. So what I project really happening. The bubble will burst. There's going to be a massive amount of upheaval because you can't have 8% of the total GDP supporting two-thirds of the growth of the stock market. That's just not sustainable anyway. But AI is not going to go away. Robotics are not going to go away. That's also not how it works, and some really great discoveries have been made. We're just going to have some problems in the meantime. What do they say about living in interesting times? And just while I have your attention, AI use is definitely bad for our skills. We already have a literacy crisis in the United States where more than half of people read at or below a sixth grade level. That means that most adults have the capacity to read, about as well as you would expect a middle school or two. AI is not going to help that. But sure, let's delegate all of our cognitive ability to a machine. If you have thoughts on any of these topics, or if you think I'm wrong, let me know. Follow for more.